The Balance Apostles of GMS and Honours, T Bells in the Work the Most on Truth and in Sincerity. This one, um, this is gonna title it, you know, something like the average Jake knows, uh, you know, America's health speaks on Jake. I know, um, you know, he basically sent me a, a, a video of basically how in America you've got all of those, you know, new, you know, startups selling weed and stuff, and I just said, you know what, that's that's that's. You know, imagine being in prison for like having a little bit of weed on you, and then what do you call it? Which you know you ain't supposed to be smoking no weed. Well, you know, don't be doing that. Um, you know, selling no drugs to your people. You ain't supposed to be doing any of that. But you know, imagine being in prison for weed offenses, and then seeing these uh, ease these Edomites basically getting rich. Right, you know, uh, you know, talking about a multi-billion dollar industry. I think he said the article was like twenty billion dollars or something like that. Don't quote me on that number, but um, it's be- it became a a billion, a multi-billion dollar industry. Right, last year there was a six billion or twenty. I forget. Um, but yeah, and you basically said, "Hey, I'm at America as hell." Right, and hey, he, he couldn't have been closer to the truth. Because America is hell, right? In fact, the word America means better, man, right? In the uh, Romanian, and I believe it will be other Latin Romance language languages, right? Um, uh, Romanian is that forgotten Romance language, you know, uh, uh, bitter is amare, right? So even in, um, you know, in the Romanian, amare, that's bitter, you know, from that you get America, which means better, Okay, because over there we would uh, that wasn't that was that isn't a place for Jake to prosper. That is the place of our captivity. So I've just got a handful of precepts. Just keep it short, right? And uh, yes, it's Psalms twenty three and four. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. And that is America. As America is uh, a valley, is a low land. America is a low land, right? It's a spiritually low land, right? But it's a shadow of death. Also, when you hear certain stories, right, and then it's just you know you can just be like, yo, there's fear for your life when they come when you're in America. You're hearing some of these stories, right? You hear, of course, you might get stopped by the cops, right? You know, but for the most part, you the, you're not thinking, yo, this. I could blow my head away, right? Whereas you know you can, you know, see especially them Jakes in the world, right? You didn't get stopped by the cops. You, the guy's already got his hand on his clip, right? Ready, uh, he, you know, he's ready to pull the trigger on Jake, right? And then let's not forget just Jake, you know, I being evil one to another, right? Just walk in the wrong neighborhood, hey, hey, once again, you know, you may, you know, God may pull a knife on you, or whatever, what have you. Right, but you ain't really gonna be just walking down a road, which you're not saying that that has never happened. You do get gun crime over here in the UK, but nothing in comparison to America. You might just be rolling down the street, walking down the street. You you know you ain't having to worry about stray bullets like you would in certain parts of America, right? You know you got all the nasty food that you have over there in America. Those GMOs, which scripture says in Ezekiel four thirteen. Right, that we shall eat our defiled bread amongst the heathens, amongst the Gentiles. Right, so you got all of these different, you know, things that cause death being pushed over there. Right, that's why it's known as the Valley of the Shadow of Death. Right, hell. <laughs> right, that place is, 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 is hell, man. Right, which hell does, you know, those are just conditions. Uh, hell and he- heaven and hell those are just conditions. On Earth, because right now we're in our hell, right? But Esau is in is in is in his heaven, right? You can read that in what Psalms the seventy third chapter, right? He is not in trouble as other men, right? Right now he's got that blessing which is the fatness of the earth, right? That was given to him by Isaac, right? Which you know, hey, when this man goes down, guess what? We gonna have the fatness of the earth. We gonna have all the nice places and the nice things. Right, in righteousness, because he's got them all, but in wickedness, okay? This is Jude 20, 20, 68, because we, once again, we have to understand why we're even in uh, that place in the first place, right? 
you know, we are our people are over there as punishment. Right? And once you know that, you understand that yeah, we ain't supposed to be prospering in that land. Yeah, we are supposed to be catching hell. Right? Which is whole chapter, more or less, bar fifteen verses is about Jay catching hell. Right? It says Deuteronomy twenty eight sixty eight says, And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, wherever I speak unto thee, thou shalt see no more again, and they shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Now this needs breaking down. Okay, so hey, ancient Egypt, we walked. We walked into ancient Egypt. Rather from ancient Egypt. But we walked from there. Okay. It says, um uh, uh so it says, and the Lord Jehovah shall bring the into Egypt again in ships. So, so the time of Moses, we walked from ancient Egypt. Right? We that's how we fled, right? Which is by the way that I speak with thou shalt see no more again. Because yeah, we ain't seen, we ain't been back to our to our land as Israelites, as a nation, right? Since 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 we were in you know in this in the current captivity, we ain't we ain't been back, right? And there shall ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen. And were we not sold? Right? Were we not sold in America? Right? Were we not sold? Were we not transported in cargo of slave ships? Right? Were we not sold unto our enemies? You can read Psalms 83 to list our enemies. Okay? It says, um, uh, yes, and they shall be sold unto the enemies, bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. And that word there, buy in the Hebrew, is uh, to redeem. Right? We can read that um, in in the precepts, right? Uh, uh, yeah, old quick English redemption. Boom. Let's read that. Right, it's Deuteronomy thirty two and six. Do ye thus require the Lord, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he thy father that hath bought thee, right? Hath he not made thee and established thee, right? So no man should buy thee, i.e. redeem. Okay, we read, uh, you go to usages, right? Get acquired by possess, right? Have gotten a man, possessor, possessor, purchased. Uh, see, now this one, let me jump down to it. And you see also here. Deuteronomy 28 and 68 Okay So uh, This is talking about No man shall basically Set you free No man When it says no man shall But no man shall set you free Because ultimately It's Yahweh That you buy Hashem Yahweh That's going to deliver us From this captivity When after America Is destroyed by way of Thermal nuclear fire That's the only way Where you know That's the way that The Lord seemed fit For us to leave That land Okay like I said, you know, verse uh, Deuteronomy Ju- 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 28, the whole chapter is going into, um, you know, into the curses that our people are, are currently living through, right? You know, um, you know, wherein we are all scattered, but mainly in that modern day Egypt, which is America, right? You can read that in uh, Revelation 11 and 8, okay? This is a mark of two tenths of rise and depart for this is not your rest. And this is the thing. Jake want to, you know, get make it in this world, but this world isn't our rest. You know, Jake think um, you know, that our home is is Africa. So Jake will be saying, Oh yeah, we need to invest in Africa, we need to do this, blah 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 blah. Right? But none of those things are gonna um because uh, that ain't our land That ain't our home Okay right, This is um, Isaiah 42 22 But this is a people robbed and spoiled And everything that we've had Has been taken away from us Right We have um, all, all the things that we You know Our, 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 in, our intellect has been misused our, our ability to entertain Has been misused Right to the end that our people will, uh, he will use uh, a Jake to basically entertain in such a way that will destroy Jake. Well, you think of your Cardi B's and your Megan the Stallion or whatever. Well, all of those energies, all the things they're pushing out is things that will destroy Jake. All right. So it says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes and they are hidden prison houses. They are for a prey and none delivereth. 
right? None delivereth, which sounds like, like a, you know, a no no one's come to set us free, right? But guess what? Yahweh Shah is on his way, right? Just for a spoil and none saith restore, right? So Yahweh Shah is on our own on his way, right? To, to you know to restore us, to save us, to redeem us, right? Which if you know we want to get, you know, technical, through, you know, through the spirit, right? You know that has been. You know, that has been done, we're just waiting for it to manifest, right? So let me read that again, Micah 2, 10, arise and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with the sword destruction, right? So when Jake is all, you know, trying to make it in this world, you're trying to make it in a world of pollution, and in doing so, you're going to end up doing polluted things, okay? This is Baruch 3 and 8, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us, which, you know, which is all what we have been scattered, um, you know, which is where you get the whole you know, Israelite foreigners and everything, because we have been scattered everywhere, okay, you know, but we weren't scattered there for our enjoyment, we weren't, our people weren't sent over, which, you know, this is the topic of the, the lesson, which America, right, our people wasn't scattered over there in America, right, for joy, it was for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments, right, according to all the iniquities of our Father, which departed from the Lord, our power, should also be a precept to, um, Micah 7 and 9, that, you know, but, uh, yeah, as always, you know, Lord's all that was edifying, you know, until the next time we say, Shalom.